the legislature, the executive board reprimands Senator Steve Halloran, but stopped short of censuring him. That led to a furious response from lawmakers, including Senator Michaela Kavanaugh. Halloran used her name while reading a rape scene from a book. We're also hearing from Halloran himself. KETV News Watch 7's Maddie Augustine is live with the fallout. Bill Julie, in their letter of reprimand, the executive board called Senator Halloran's actions on March 18th unbecoming of the Nebraska legislature and said this reprimand is permanent record that conduct and comments like Halloran's will never be tolerated. But many senators argue this letter isn't enough. Senator after senator. This is embarrassing and disappointing. It's unacceptable. That was inappropriate. It was egregious. Taking the floor and voicing their disappointment in their colleagues for staying silent after the reading of the executive board's letter of reprimand and investigation results against Senator Halloran's actions on March 18th. There is no scenario where you should be able to say something to your coworker like what he said. The investigation finding Halloran's actions did not constitute a hostile work environment or sexual harassment under state and federal law. But he did violate the legislature's workplace harassment policy in three separate ways. Verbal abuse of a sexual nature, graphic verbal commentaries about sexual activity, sexually oriented discussion. And the board and legislature failing to advance Senator Michaela Kavanaugh's resolution to censure Halloran. I am disappointed. You have failed Senator Dungan, you have failed Senator Kavanaugh, you have failed all victims. Halloran firing back, saying he can take the reprimand, but he's standing behind what he says was an effort to make a point about books he believes are too obscene to be in Nebraska public schools. I'm not so worried about the sensibilities of fellow senators, they're all adults in there. I'm worried about the sensibilities of traumatizing kids. Senator Julie Slama says today was a positive step in the right direction in setting the bar in terms of what's acceptable conduct and what isn't in the legislature. But like many, agreeing a letter of reprimand simply isn't enough. Julie Bill, back to you.